Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Find all real solutions to the equation, the square of the absolute value of x plus four multiplied by the absolute value of x minus five is equal to zero. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall the definition of the absolute value of x. It is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it is equal to negative x if x is less than zero. Here's a graph of this piecewise defined function, y is equal to the absolute value of x. If x is greater than or equal to zero, we have the graph of y is equal to x, and if x is less than zero, we have the graph of y is equal to negative x. So we have this V-shaped graph. To solve this problem, we'll consider each case separately. First, we'll consider if x is greater than or equal to zero. In that case, the absolute value of x is equal to x. So we can drop the absolute value signs and we get the equation x squared plus four x minus five is equal to zero. We can solve this quadratic equation by factoring. We get x minus one multiplied by x plus five is equal to zero. This gives the two solutions, x is equal to one and x is equal to negative five. But in this case, we've assumed that x was greater than or equal to zero. So we need to eliminate the extraneous solution, x is equal to negative five. Only x is equal to one is a solution in this case. We'll move this solution to the side and we'll consider the other case that x is less than zero. In that case, the absolute value of x is equal to negative x. So we can substitute in. We get the square of negative x plus four multiplied by negative x minus five is equal to zero. We simplify to get the quadratic equation x squared minus four x minus five is equal to zero. We solve by factoring to get x plus one multiplied by x minus five is equal to zero. And this gives x is equal to negative one and x is equal to five. But in this case, we assume that x was less than zero. So we eliminate the extraneous solution, x is equal to five. So that's it. This equation has two solutions, x is equal to one or x is equal to negative one. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.